Now let's get back to the main news and uh, talk some politics here. One of the aspirants for the Edo State governorship election on the platform of the All Progressives Congress, the APC, Kashim Shatima, rather Kasim Afegwa, has promised to pay the emoluments of the 14 Edo State House of Assembly lawmakers elect who were not inaugurated in 2019 following the leadership crisis in the Assembly. Afegwa made the promise during his consultation tour to won the local government area of Edo State, saying it was, a, it was injustice to those concerned and the constituency they represent. Before the 2023 elections, only nine lawmakers out of the 24 elected members of the Edo State House of Assembly in 2019 were inaugurated and carry out legislative duties due to the crisis of alleged plot to impeach Governor Godwin Obaseki, who defected from the All Progressives Congress, APC, to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the 14 lawmakers elect in the camp of the former Governor Adams, Oshomole, were left stranded as only nine loyal to Governor Obaseki were inaugurated. Kasim Afegwa promised to revisit their plight when elected Governor of Edo State. For four years, simply because you don't want to like their faces. You get 14 of them out of that place. And you want nine members to be making laws for the good people of my new state. And I've told them that me, if I become governor, whatever that is due to those 14 members, I'm not playing politics here, I will pay them all their entitlements. The All Progressive Congress members in Uhumbo, their local government area, Pledge their support to Afegwa's ambition, saying he has proven his capacity to bring about development to the state. You know, when students, you know, do an exam and the lecturer is going to mark sentiments, so we have A, so we have B, so we also have C. But for all that have come to see us, you are among the, the A. Kasim Afegwa is one of the 25 governorship aspirants seeking the ticket on the platform of the All Progressives Congress APC in Edo State. Ogie Ihimekme, AIT News. The Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, says many of the 2023 election petitions were unjustly treated by the judgment of the lower courts and called on the lawmakers to avert a repeat of what it described as a disaster of injustices meted to validly elected national and state assembly members of the PDP and the Labour Party extraction from Plateau, Enugu, Abia and other states. In a statement signed by the National Secretary Peter Ame, CUPP says there is an urgent need to amend section 233 and 246 of the, Niger of the 1999 constitution and called on the National Assembly to commence without delay the amendments to extend appellate jurisdiction for state and national assembly election disputes to the Supreme Court. Ame said that CUPP is appalled and highly dismayed that some of the petitions ordinarily would not have been entertained by nature of their being pre-election matters, were made the cornerstones of their judgments by both the election tribunal and the court of appeal leading to the knowledge those mandates, thereby denying them the fruits of their victory. CUPP observed that the Supreme Court did not spare words in tongue-lashing the Court of Appeal for the perverse and obnoxious judgment that saw the untimely termination of the legitimate and valid mandate of those legislators. Now, residents of